Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations and I have some more craft show um, projects to share with you. So if you watched my video about my stationery sets, um, you heard that I am entering a craft show with one of my good friends. Um, it's actually tomorrow. Um, and so I've been crafting a lot lately. I've been a, a busy little bee. I've been in my craft room every day almost for about three weeks now. Or, you know, every other day or something like that. And uh, so, as I said in the last video, uh, Teacher Appreciation Week is coming up and the end of the school year is coming up. So I thought it would be a good idea to make some teacher appreciation gifts. And when I realized that I was going to do a craft show... Yeah, I have a bunch of cards that I could sell, but I didn't want to sell just cards. I wanted to, you know, come up with some other ideas of things to put out there and sell. So I went on Pinterest and I searched, you know, craft show project ideas and, you know, different things on Pinterest. And I came across these couple things and I thought, well, these two things that I'm going to show you right now are both from uh, Nicole Hetty's blog. She posted pictures of them when they did the... I think it was the Pencil Me In set, or one of their school releases that they had in April. Um, these were the inspiration photos for their pro for their uh, the stamp sets that they made. So I liked them, and I thought they were so cute, and I thought they'd be perfect for teacher appreciation gifts. And if I got one, I would love it. And like I said in my last video, I might just take one of each and put them on my desk if they don't sell. So um, the first thing is a little apple jar. So I took a little belt, you know, a bell jar. They're really inexpensive. They're like nine or no, twelve for like nine dollars or ten dollars, whatever at Walmart. Um, and I had my husband spray paint them red for me, so now they look like little apples. And then um, I cut out some leaves using the I don't even know the um, Happiness in Bloom leaf die set. That's what it is. The Happiness in Bloom leaf die set from Verge Ink. So I cut out the big and small leaf, and I um, and then I used the enclosed apple die that they just came out with, and then the enclosed gift card. So um, is that coming? Okay. You use the little enclosed gift card tag or gift tag or whatever it is. And then you get, they have a graduation cap, they have a flower one, and they have this apple one now. And it looks like I gotta glue that back down a little bit. But, um, so I got the apple one, and I did it, and I cut it out in the black chalkboard paper, then I cut it out in red, and then I um, embossed, teacher, thanks for all you do. And then I wrapped it around, and then I just put a whole jar, uh, or a whole box of sharpened pencils in there. Um, so I did it in black, I did red with black. I don't like this one as much, I like the, the black with red the best. And then I did red and white. So I have three different designs, and I haven't put the pencils in this one yet, but I made seven of those. So um, I think those are super cute, and I think they look like little apples. I would love it. And then the other thing was half my inspiration was from Pinterest, half was from the Nicole Hetty blog post again. Um, when they did the same day as they did the apple photo, they posted um, a photo of a little kind of like a can wrapped in crayons with a ribbon around it and I thought it was a really cute idea <coughs> you know little elementary school teachers love they we use crayons all the time I love crayons I, I love crayons I love coloring I, <laughs> I don't know so I thought this was super cute so I got these um, what are they, like uh, pen holders from Walmart for like 250 and then I hot glued crayons all around them and I had a bunch of crayons from school so I just brought those and then I got um, this little butterfly that I put up here and then I wrapped it with some black ribbon and then for the top part with the flowers um, so they look like you know just normal fake flowers or whatever but I was searching on Pinterest again for craft show ideas and I came across the flower pens and I know you guys have all seen those before the pens that people wrap with the flower tape and they make um, flowers out of them and I thought how cute would that be to put in a little crayon jar so what I did was I went to Michael's and I bought a ton of different flowers in the little flower section. And then I also went to Michael's and I bought a couple from Michael's. But I just, you know, I cut off the little stems. I wrapped the, the pen in the flower tape and, you know, you have a flower pen. And I have, you know, a whole bouquet here um, of different flowers. And I think it's super cute, you know, just to have... 
sitting on your desk. Like, I just look at it, and it, it just makes me happy. And I had um, a couple different flowers. So some of them have different flowers. Some of them have the same. I don't know. I might have done the same. But I also made um, some extras, you know, if people want to buy just pens. I don't know. I think they're fun. I'm Like I said, I'm a kindergarten teacher, so I love all the cutesy little things. And I would definitely put one of those on my desk and reach for a flower pen whenever I need to use a pen. So um, there's those. And then the last teacher thing that I made, um, and I literally just straight up cased these from Betsy Veldman and Don McVay because I needed teacher thank you cards that I thought would be cute and people would buy, people might like, um, because I thought they might, you know, just like a, a, um, a card and they could stick like a gift card or just, you know, just like a thank you card for teachers, so I made this one from Betsy Veldman, so it's a little shaker card, so the pencil, the top, and the, um, the bottom are different, and there's the little, the little alphabet letters in there, and the numbers. So it says, thank you, teacher. So that's the pencil shaker die, um, the new pencil pad paper. Um, that's Petite Place's school. And then this is the new inside tucked in thank you one or whatever. So I made that card. I made four of those. And then I made four of these ones from Don McVay with the, with the Granny Smith apple. So teacher, thanks for everything. And then the same greeting on the inside. So... Those are all the teacher appreciation gifts that I made, so hopefully somebody likes them and enjoys them. Um, I did, I haven't made it yet, but my next idea is I had five jars left, so I bought the magnet letters, you know, and I'm going to, uh, it's totally sealed shut, so I'm going to put like a roll of paper down in there or something. And maybe stick some flower, a couple flower pens in it or something. And then not spray paint it, but it'll be clear. And then just put the the alphabet letters around the tube of paper. So it'll look like there's alphabet letters in there. And then I'll put like a couple flower pens in it too. So um, those are my teacher appreciation gifts. So hopefully somebody will like them and buy them. So thanks for watching. And I have a couple more things to show you. So check for another video. Bye.